Hello there! In this second video on using astrophotography tool for idiots, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the point craft setting. And the point craft is actually a uh, is using plate solving. First off, I've got to go over. I've already got the camera operating, and I'm focused on the star Shidar in Cassiopeia. I'm going to connect the scope. Telescope connected. I'm going to connect the filter wheel. Filter wheel connected. And I have it on the luminosity filter currently. And I'm going to see if the star Shidar is there. I already know it is because I, I did this last night as well. And I'm going to click on it, press OK. Now I don't have to press go to because I'm already I'm already on it, but I'm not if you notice on the screen it's not centered properly. So now I'm going to press point craft. And here's point craft. This is the plate solving. I first come up and press the object and here it is. Uh, Shidar is already highlighted because I already highlighted it previously. I press OK and I press the solve button. Image solved. And it's already solved. Now I press sync, which is just below the uh, button down here. And now I'm going to center it in here. And I can get down to objects and again. Press Shidar, press OK, and notice the coordinates pop up in here. So now I just press go to plus plus and let it do it, let it do its thing. I'll give it a minute to let it run through. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Notice it's uh, centered. It's going to make sure it's centered properly before I go on. It'll tell me when it's done. Go to plus plus finished. Okay, there it is. Already centered. Really quick. Zip, zip, zip. If there was an object over here that I wanted to center in on and I didn't have the coordinates, I could press the aim button and just click on it and it would. You know, for example, let's say I wanted to focus in on this star for whatever reason, I would press aim and just press the button and it would center in over there. Or what happens if your object is not in its database? What you can do is you would go to the uh, objects list and custom, and these aren't in the database of the point craft, but what you can do is go into uh, Stellarium or some other program and get the coordinates and just enter it in here. So you can actually do a, um, do objects that aren't even in its database. Anyways, that's how you use PointCraft. Thank you. See you later. Well, welcome back. I'm going to do part two of using PointCraft. I, right now I was on my star Shidar in Cassiopeia. I'm going to go to my target. I've already used uh, plate solving on this, but now I'm going to go to my object that I really want to focus on, that's my, and that's M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. So I'm going to go to Objects, Deep Sky, Triangulum Galaxy, I've already got it highlighted, OK, I'm going to press Go To. All right. Notice it put an oval, and this is where, this is what it should look like. This is where the, um, it should be centered. Once it's done going to, I'll give it a few minutes to zero in on it. All right. You'll notice it's not quite in the center, and he here is the Triangulum Galaxy over here. So now I'm going to do point craft and and go right on it. So I go back to point craft. I come over to objects and it 
Triangle and Galaxy is already highlighted, so I had OK. I press Solve. Image solved. It's already solved the image. I press Sync. And now I'm going to come down here, press Objects, hit Triangle and Galaxy again. It puts the coordinates right in the center, and I'm going to press Go to plus plus. Now I was imaging this last night and um, last month as well, and I'm going to be able to stack these directly on here because it, it's it's going to keep the exact alignment. Be it's going to focus right in where I focused on before, and there it is. Go to plus plus finished. All right, it's already on. I'm going to. Turn off the uh, that, and I'm going to turn off Pointcraft, and I'm all set to go now and do my imaging. On a later video, I'll show you how to set up various uh, scripts to um, do imaging. I just wanted to show you how to do the Pointcraft. There's still a little tree showing here, so I'm going to give it another minute or a couple minutes for this part of the tree to go away, so I'll have a complete um, clear field of view. Anyways, thank you. See you later.